Hey guys, welcome to Anonymity and today we are going to see how we can change our website's theme. In previous video, we have successfully connect our Jekyll website with GitHub pages. And there will be a link in description to the repo and feel free to fork this project. The best place to visit is rubygems.org and this is the best place to find free themes for your Jekyll websites. It has lots of free templates so make sure to check it out. I'm gonna quickly pick this hacker theme. Feel free to use any theme as per your requirement. You can see there will be a code to install this theme. So just copy that code and open your gem file. From there you need to tell Jekyll to install new theme. So quickly just paste this line that we copied from that website and then we will open our terminal and then save all the changes that we just made and we'll type bundle install and this will install all the necessary dependencies and just wait for a little moment just like that this will be installed so after the install will be completed we need to update a variable in config.yml so open config.yml and from there we need to update a variable and in my case i'm gonna type jackal theme hacker and then we will simply save all these changes and then we are gonna type another command bundle update and this will basically update all the files and with the new theme so let's just wait and yeah it is done so now we will run bundle exact jackal serve and this will build our website so as you can see it's building and it's done but nothing is here so make sure to check these errors before you publish this site to your production because this is our most common issues and we can fix these issues by adding a default front matter in all that layout files because some of the default themes consist the file structure so we'll make sure that we have also that structure in our website so yeah after these changes i think this will be work so we'll save all these changes and just check again if it is work so just refresh and now everything works properly so yeah guys these are the common issues that we need to debug and make sure to you know pay attention to these errors because these can produce big errors after some times now we are ready to push all these changes to our production so we'll just commit these changes and make sure to check this description box because i'll put this link in the description so after that commit we will push that changes to our branch and just like that this all with changes will be updated live so we are gonna close all these unnecessary tabs and wait for a short moment and then we'll hit refresh and voila everything is just working fine so yeah guys that's all for this video i hope you like this video if you like it then give a thumbs up and comment me down below your thoughts and stay tuned to my channel because lots of videos are coming soon